My Pansola Arabi show, we're back, baby. And yes, Zola is not here. Welcome, boy, back, boys. What's up, man? I love it. I love it. Sharp, it's not yeah, sharp, sharp, sharp. Rux, look at Coach Dewey, how are you? Uh, even the bad days are good. Uh, lovely, man, Coach. Lovely, lovely. So, guys, I just want to quickly get it out the way. We've partnered up with our friends there at uh, Mr. D Food. Uh -huh. If you want to find out more, follow us, like, subscribe on our page, okay? Gents, I really want to get into it. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, Where are we? Yeah. Where smart are we? Smart Come, Dungs. Smart boys. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's the only smart boy at the table. Please tell us where we are. I'm just playing. Uh, our favorite place to be, uh, 44 Queen Street, first 15 Brewer House, the home of Blackwood and Golden Giraffe. If Zalo is here, I'd say tell him he sent you, but mm. please. Visit First 15 Brewer House yes. and get you one of these great beers. And don't and say the, Zola sent you because you will not get a discount. Yeah, and the prison is opening up today, so... Uh, yes. <laughs> say Leon come through, you. come through. Uh, Lee, you're about to introduce our guest? Yes. So introduce yourself, Mr. <laughs> 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 introduce yourself. Introduce yourself, Mr. So, so today we've got, you? we've got <laughs> Coach Jui <laughs> Swapway. Yeah. Uh, I call him Coach. Because we, we, we all call him coach. Actually. We all call him yeah. coach, Janet. So you're not coach anymore. Coach. Do you swag boy? It's been the tradition of our illustrious guests who, who, who've paved the way for, for rugby players of uh, all different backgrounds. Yes. Uh, we, we continue to, to bring you oh, interesting yeah. people to talk to. Yep. So, like like Leon said, you've officially replaced Coach Rudd. So <laughs> uh, please, uh, uh, do you swag boy? Thank you for, for joining us. Yeah. Uh, it's actually an honor to have you on the show, uh, mm -hmm. Coach. Like Leo, Leo and I are like literally having high school flashbacks. Yeah, we're all actually, I'm, I'm a fan, man. I'm a fan. I'm, I'm, I'm After this coach, you must find my cap or something. No way, man. Very, very cool. We'll see. But um, um, do we swap away? Welcome um, to my Pantone Aragli. Thank, thanks, Jen. Thanks for having me, man. I'm looking forward to this. No, it's it's interesting. No. Sounds interesting. <laughs> no, but we, no, but we just, just, just relax. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a relaxed atmosphere. You know, we just want to know, get to know you from where you started, where you are, and stuff like that. Do you? Perfect. Okay. So, Perfect. coach, let's start from the beginning. Where's the coach from? Yeah, I was born in Sutherland. I uh, stayed there for the first, what, four years of my life. Yeah. You know, and then moved down to Worcester. So oh, born, and brewed, born and bred in the Western Cape for that matter. Okay. Um, did, you, did you leave Sutherland because of the cold? Yeah, because of the cold. <laughs> <laughs> because of the cold. You know, it's it's cold. Cold. it gets cold. No, 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 it's, no. it's really cold. We think it's cold in Joburg. Jeez. No, no, no. no I, nothing, I nothing compared to that. <laughs> I, look at, I look when they do the weather. I want to see what Sutherland looks like. So I don't complain about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, coach. And then, yeah, obviously moved to Worcester and that, that's where I finished school. Well, I went to school there in Worcester, um, the Tainan Primary, Eastland Park, and then Worcester Gym, finished off at Worcester Gym. And yeah. that's where it all started for me. And Worcester Gym, that's where obviously we talk about, now we're going to to rugby, but I know Coach is a, is a keen sports person. Yeah. Less. Did you only play rugby in, yeah. in high school? No, no, no. I played a bit of cricket as well. You know, one of those guys that played cricket, rugby, uh, obviously tried my hand at athletics a bit as well. Yeah. But more than jumps. <laughs> <laughs> more, more, than, more than jumps. Just the jumps. Yeah, just the jumps. <laughs> the right. the, the sprints and those type of things. So, yeah, yeah. did a lot of sports. Man. And who spotted you? We, we all have, like, those, those people that started off the career and said, yes, see, Jesus. I've seen that, uh, I've seen that. Uh, <laughs> when, 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 when did the... You know what, the, the funny thing, actually, my brother played, played Craven Week as well back in 97, so I think he opened a lot of doors for me. Yeah. So I have to give credit to him that as name. well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you going to <laughs> So, Coach, before, hold on. You look very thirsty. Um, guys, could you please give Coach a drink? Sorry, man, Coach. Zola. <laughs> one job. What? You had one job. Zola so had one job. One job. One job. One one job. job. And you're saying, you're saying, Coach? Yeah, so I think he, he opened up a pathways for me, you know, mm -hmm. and then I got spotted by uh, Nir Janssen. Uh, that's his name in uh, back at Worcester Gym. Yeah. You know, um, gave me a call, asked yeah. me to. You know, make the move to Worcester Gym because obviously they play more more games yes. and uh, more competitive. Nothing yes. against uh, Eastland Park, you know. True, but, true, uh, true. We need to be honest, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's an honest conversation. And I think you were seen for Craven Week because you played. Yeah, for you know, okay, exactly yeah. because of that. So that's where it started, you know, Mr. Janssen. Oh. Thanks if he's watching. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks Thanks like, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Please, please do subscribe. <laughs> so, 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 so,
the, when the high school started? Yeah. Were you already an avid rugby player then, or was rugby still just a no, play no, with no, the kids? No, 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 no. They're very competitive. Okay. Very yeah. competitive. Guys like Heine, Heine Adams. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You know, Heine's from Eslam Park. Is it? Yeah. Like Cricket, uh, rugby, yeah. you know, played Bolland cricket, played rugby as well for, for Bolland. Yeah. You know, Craven weekend and, and then obviously made his way down to the Bulls. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, great franchise. Each other. Great franchise, great franchise, by the way. Yeah. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. So, yeah, yeah that, that's where it started, you know. So, there's a transition to, to Worcester Gym. Is it, is it close to, to where Eslin Park was? What, was? what was that change like? Because, I mean, changing high school, from personal experience, yeah. moving yeah. It's very different. Said, I think set at nine is, is not easy because you've got your friends. Yeah. You've got yeah, to sit by so how how is that transition thing? That was quite easy. I think the boys were, were welcoming that side as yeah. well. You know, there was a couple of boys that I played with, uh, yeah. either not provincial back then, uh, in the regional teams. Yeah. You know, a couple of cricket boys, Conde Lange, those in the likes of Sir Tool and these guys I know, Lekker. you know, from being in a label together, yeah. type of thing. So it was, wasn't was wasn't bad at all. You know, Lekker. the transition from Islam Park to, you know, Tosi Star. Because yeah. because he, hey, it's something different. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we all know that. Yeah. <laughs> I think they but, took the uh, rugby more, probably more seriously. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Not yeah. as much, yeah. And then, and, and I'm guessing in, in your days, and this is what, 98? Yeah, it was 98. Jeez. So, 99. so, 99. Why are you expecting this? <laughs> 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 we can just go back in 99. The change, the change of, 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 of demographics from there. And now Juice Wap Boy is going to a very Afrikaans. Yeah. Afrikaans. You know, Even though he's Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, no, yeah. No. So how 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 is that and, and 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 I know you personally as well that, that the parents were, were teachers, so so academically I'm sure you were you are up there, but with everything else? Uh, the lucky thing of uh, course is you know, we had teachers, you know, a lot of teachers helping me with uh, extra classes you yeah, know, because obviously the workload is it's, it's more now you know, yeah, it's more different. to yeah. you know what I'm used to and mm. luckily enough luckily enough I but uh, yeah luckily these guys were you know some of the teachers were brilliant in, in helping me you know extra okay. okay then when we talk about the rugby and very interesting point you get chosen for the the Craven Week side there. Uh, it's yourself, Ricky January. Oh, and legend, legend. Yeah, yeah. Ricky's a legend. Ricky's a legend. That's why he's got versus New Zealand 2008. Yeah, oh, but oh, getting yeah. chosen as the captain, and in those days, there, there weren't many running around, you yeah. know, uh, for, for the provincial sides and especially for Poilat. Yeah. Uh, no, I was, I was lucky because, you know, I think uh, obviously the state, you know, me moving to Worcester Gymnasium, you know, yeah. had, had a huge uh, influence, you know, on, on my playing career yeah. as well. And uh, yeah, I was lucky enough to, in 99, I made the Craven Week team. Yeah. I was vice captain back yeah. then. Uh, Ashwin Williams, you Ashwin. know, another, Ashwin another Williams, guy. An, an, another guy. Yeah, another yeah, guy, yeah, another guy, just name oh. dropping. I know, he's just saying, Ashwin Williams. And I'll be honest with you, when the guys who you're naming, we were our favorite players as yeah. well. We, we, I like the mate with. You know what I'm saying? Ricky at number nine. Good yeah. job. Ricky at nine. S1 was the Cornei. Uh, Cornei Ace. Uh, oh, yeah. Remember the name played for the Cheetahs? I remember Cornei Ace. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bro, nah. Center. Center. Mm. Center. Center. But anyway, that was in 99. And in 2000, 2000 Craven Week, I was uh, selected as, as captain. The mm. first ever player yeah, of, of color, color to become captain. captain. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Well, it was quite nice. Was, and, was, it, was it as big a deal then? Then it, it is you, now. Then you, in hindsight, now you know, like you literally started it. Like when it happened, was it was it as impactful? Or did you just not see? I didn't see it at all because I was obviously I was captain and at Worcester Gym. Mm. Yeah, know, for, for what for a year at least yeah. uh, that year. And the previous year I was also in and about uh, there with with a uh, senior group in terms of um, leadership group. Yeah. Right mm. And uh, yeah, but it was never one of those things. It never got to my head. It was just one of yeah. 
Okay. But looking back at looking back now, it's a it was a big it's thing. It's a big thing. It was a massive thing. It's a massive thing. Yeah, Being the then, yeah. first person of color, player of it's color, huge. the captain. I it's mean, huge. there's a lot of names that went before me. True. But I'm looking at the I'm thinking about Wayne Julius and these guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, '97, Wayne Wayne was mm. vice captain. Yeah, he also played for the Bulls at some point, didn't he? Yeah. And yeah. what is it? Can I? I'm just gonna. Ask. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's born up. Come, 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 I'm just saying, like. Okay, uh, coach, just tell us more. So, Kevin, you captain for Poland. Uh, how, how did you guys go in that year? Uh, we managed to play in the final, coach. Mm. Like, so. mm. The funny thing about that final. final. Yeah, <laughs> the final. <laughs> <laughs> the final. The final. Uh, we, on our way, making the finals, we beat Falco. And then the Lions, you know, that was a shock for, for everybody. Yeah. Um, beat them and then unfortunately we lost the unofficial final to mm. the Pumas mm. with mm. Nalfori. The Uta already mm. left, uh, the Uta went. Mm. And then they managed to make a turnover. Oh no, Ricky didn't kick it out. Yeah. I can't remember, but it's something like that where mm-hmm. a flyer didn't kick it out. Yeah. And they scored right in the corner. Oh, wow. They needed a conversion. Oh, and then Nelson. That's heartbreak, eh? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. stepped up. We all know Nelson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. he, he was a very good yeah. heartbreak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he was the leaf fling there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. leaf fling of Puma <laughs> land. And then he kicked it over. And then that's, we lost. That's right, man. But geez. For the Pumas, are like, you're coming to the moment, coming to Man, yeah. Yes. Man, yes. Under so, the Z. So, coach, after that, the uh, Curry Cup, you get selected for Craven League. Craven I mean, sorry. I mean, yeah. so after the Craven League, yeah. you get selected for SS Yeah. And you signed that was two thousand. And then you signed with the big boys. Yeah. all the Just um, coach, do we just want me to do it? Like, what's 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 SA schools like? Like, how, how does that go? Because from from where I understand, coming from from Worcester, and, and you're you're the toast of the town. All the guys that made the Craven League team, you come back and now you make SA schools. So, yeah. so so how does how does that go when, when you when you get back home and it's in the papers? Yeah, I think for, for every every school but rugby player, that's the pinnacle. You yeah. want to play SA schools or SA Academy back then as well. But SA schools obviously the highlight yeah. of, of your career. You want to to get to achieve that, you know. And I was just lucky, I suppose, you know, <laughs> Make, making the team. But Talented. going back yeah. home, hearing my name after the game, actually, because that's when they still announced yes, the team. I remember the bus. Oh, 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 yeah, not even yeah. on the bus. Yeah. Like, right yeah. after, there, there. Yeah, like, I like that. Somebody's there announcing the team. and So after yeah. you played, they, they announce your name and stuff like yeah. that. Mm. But I was still sulking about the last year. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you don't focus on the bigger picture and listen, I've been chosen for SA schools. Think about that. But mm. just me being me, that's, it's one of those where, oh, okay, SA schools, what's next? Up, mm. <laughs> so, so, very dry. So, 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 what came, so, what came from there? So, so there was SA schools, you guys played a couple yeah, of girls. Yeah. So, all these questions, no, no, no. no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> first, oh, 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 hi. Oh, hi. Hello, guys. Hey, hello, hello, hello. hello. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so very much. much. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was great. You guys the are good stuff. Up. The good oh, stuff. Good the good stuff. stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You're doing a great job. It works better with Altman. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, ladies. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. Thank you. Got to be all better for you guys. Thank you, brother. <laughs> well, guys, you can continue with the show. We, we found okay. a new job for you, huh? Yeah. Is that also a promotion? Promotion. Promotion. It's a promotion. It's a promotion. It's a promotion. It's a promotion. Thank you. Well, thanks, thanks. Thanks. We really yeah. appreciate so, so, uh, so, coach, you're saying so, thanks, toast of the town, loving that moment, but I, I'm guessing that's when your career started, your yeah. professional rugby career started. Uh, I think, yeah, 100% for the that's where it started, yeah, and then right. after that, Zola. Like a bunch. Thanks, Ed. Yep. Yeah. But, um, mm. Yeah, obviously, like I said, um, started back, back, back then. Yeah. SA schools, making SA schools. Got offered a contract at the Bulls. And yeah. Just, it just, it just, oh, from, nah, 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 nah. Like, you know, because like, back then, it was it's all about the money. Yeah. It's all about playing from, from, from a big play. department. So, time. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, love, so, love for the game. Yeah. So, so, coach, tell me, so now you've, 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 you've transcended that, um, 
playing for the pride of the badge now. Now you're mm-hmm. making a career out of it, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's not it's not for the, the pride of Worcester anymore. It's, it's, so now it's a bit about you. Um, how was how was that 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 step up in in terms of going from being in a in a, in a good team because you luckily you're exposed to on your first team great yeah. week yeah. SA schools. Now you go to franchise rugby mm-hmm. and uh, it's it's a, a, a collective of, 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 of talent of talent. Yeah. So, so how did how did how did that change of scenery work because you've been moving at home you know you move to the other side of the country yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. No. And, and then you've got to contend with, with um, fighting for your spot in the lineup how Coach, before you answer that you forgot to say how is it moving to a very big province <laughs> <laughs> Some very big, big provincial <laughs> <team. laughs> <laughs> I, 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 was, I was hell of excited yeah. you know because I grew up with Province, Western Province. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And Dor Transvaal. Mm. Yes. And there was only two teams. And it's North versus South. North versus yes, South. Yes, yes, yes. So that was big. So when I got the opportunity, you oh. know, um, to move up to, to, to the Bulls or North Transvaal back. No, no. That's the Bulls. Bulls. I think it was yeah, yeah. Bulls. Yeah, the Bulls. Yeah, Bulls. Yeah, the Blue Bulls, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was a big thing. Mm. You know, and uh, yes, like it. You can't describe it. You can't <laughs> move into the capital. <laughs> and again, I'm right? But yeah, yeah I mean. it's a different world. But I, I got, I got, I got to love it. Mm-hmm. You know, I got when I when I got there. You know, always uh, nice people around. Even went to Tech- Technicon back then. Yeah, yeah. 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 it was yeah. TT. Yeah. Yeah. It was TT now, but it was Victoria Tech back in the day. Very competitive. That's the one on the hill there by Victoria West, right? Yeah. It's my town right there. So, yeah, that's how it started. So there was no beef at home, like, oh, you really want to go to Victoria? Why would you wearing the protest jersey? I'm just trying to understand, like, it must have been, like, I'm yeah. sure somebody in, like, the street was like, no, Dewey, man, listen. Like, Jackie, what can I know for, man? Yeah, yeah, man. I know that you're racist. Don't do it, yeah. No, I think a lot of, a lot of, a lot of the people back home in the Bullard area community, even, in my local community yeah. just embraced the fact that you know somebody got uh, an opportunity true because life is all about opportunities you true. know uh funny enough again jeffrey stevens we, we stay in the same street uh-huh. uh okay you guys are not jeffrey uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> he says stevens back in like early mid 2000 uh, mid 90s but anyway um so people were very supportive family was supportive uh, community was supportive and yeah and that was, that, was, that was the start of a, a very successful area in terms of going to the Bulls as a, as, a, as a company, as a franchise. And yeah, see, I just, I just, and we haven't gotten to that and we're gonna get it. We're gonna get to how Jake got you into the World Cup squad. But I just remember that iconic final that you guys played against the, the Lions. Oh yeah, 2002. Was so. it 2002? Was yeah. it before before you were selected for the uh, the juniors? Was, or just no, actually, it's after. No, it's after. Okay, but okay. But, okay. but that, that era. So, that so, era. Seeing, so seeing as well, I left to see with shots. Let's 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 have a toast to uh, SA Junior Springboks. Right, so I'm, I'm, I'm a drink to that. Yeah, Gee. toast to that. So what toast to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> toast, 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 toast to that. Toast to that. Toast to that. Thank you for the people that bought it as well. So that was a start of a very successful era for the Bulls company and I mean uh, you're in there with your the likes of Faree. Yeah I was lucky enough to have played junior rugby and senior rugby with Faree, um, Jacques Runier, mm-hmm. you know good. those, those the boys man, that are actually yeah. Yeah. big eight man. Oh yeah. Jacques Runier, yeah, 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 yeah. it was really sharp, yeah, yeah I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Cornier, yeah. sorry, Cornier. 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 A lot of A lot of Jacques friends as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And, um, yeah, because like it was actually, you okay, know, so that, that year, I remember 2002, we went making made it all the way to the finals mm-hmm. and we drew that game after yeah. playing. Um, yeah, see, extra, extra time. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. extra yeah. time, yeah. 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 it was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and funny enough, yeah. that year, the, the senior year won the 2002 yeah. thing versus at, the Lions versus again. At Ellis Park. Yes, yeah. I remember yeah. it very well. Was that Derek? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, Derek scored all the points yeah. actually. Yeah. I think 26 yeah. points or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 2002. Yes, yes. So, for all Highlands North boys, coming back to. Could you please tell us the story of. The in- interesting part of how Jake White uh, roped you in to that into 2002 squad, squad, yeah. Because yeah. 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 you were a year behind. Yeah, I was a year behind in terms of you know that 
It was still under 21. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was still is under 21 playing in the is or oh, not uh, in the World Cup. World yeah, Cup. yeah. yeah. The 21 World Cup. And then, you know, me having played uh ASEAN 19 the previous year in 2001. Yeah. I didn't think much of making the ASEAN 20 21 team that year in 2002 because we had the likes of Jean Sander Villiers that is um Yeah, uh, it's in fact. Play record, eh? Yeah. Oh, wow. Australia. Oh, wow. Yori. Yeah. Y- Yori. Yori Baller, I mean, a local oh. guy from the Lions that I yes, know. Yes, yes. yeah. Yori was there playing center mm. and he played the previous year as well. So I, I didn't think much. I thought, okay, for me, it's just, you know, going to the camps. I'll be that guy, just flip and... Uh, so you'll be the guy that's carrying the back. How the tackle oh, back is so just <laughs> taking all. Taking all from, from these guys and also from... from Your year's year is next year. My year's next year. Your year's still coming. Coming. And then, yeah. boom. Jeez. Um, closer to the time, I got selected. You know, uh, my I made the squad. Yeah. First. Happy. Again. Yeah. Going. Thought to myself, hey, I'm here. I'm just gonna, you know, be that guy. Mm. You know. And then, started off... First game came, I was on the wing, started a couple of games on wing, and then uh, semi-finals and finals, luckily, uh, Jean moved to wing, and then I went to center, myself and then uh, Clyde, mm-hmm. and that's how it started. Mm-hmm. Well, that's how it went, for that matter, Coach. And how's, how's that feeling, Coach? You, uh, you guys made us, so, I, I, I remember I was still in high school, and seeing you guys on TV, I don't, I don't know, yes, I took in 95. But seeing you guys on TV, winning that at Ellis Park, for me, that was one of the greatest feelings ever. It, it, it actually was, Coach, before you answer, the 2000 team in, in the finals. 2002. Uh, 2002, 2002, yeah. Because we, oh. we, we were privileged enough <laughs> to watch you guys live. We actually watch some of the games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's why we're such fans. Yeah. So, so we remember watching that team, and, and as I'm like, sitting here, like, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad I'm still maintaining my composure. Because <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm still looking at you guys, that's the same dude. Right? Like, so coach, know, like, you actually played with uh, Clyde Rathbone, right? Yeah. How was he as a, as a captain? Was he captain at the yeah, time? Yeah, he was, he was, he was captain. captain right? very, yeah. very, again, a very instrumental captain. You know, yeah. One of those guys that led by example. Yeah. You know. Um, but again, we had the likes of Jean helping him as well. Yes, as a yes, senior yes, player yes. now. S1 and those guys also, you know, not as senior players, but just the, the group in general, I think it was, it was just a, yeah. A, a, yeah, I wouldn't say brilliant group, but a <laughs> pro- proper group. World champions. The guys were world champions. This is great, we've been generous. Oh, yeah. that's, <laughs> that's another story for another day. So, so brilliant. <laughs> so we, we, we leapfrog from there, so obviously still at the Bulls. I know you joined the, the, the Cats at... Back then, kind of. Yeah. So, 2000, the following year, mm. after the playing in, in that uh, 21 World Cup, yes, played super rugby for the Bulls under mm. Ryu Bear. Um, yeah. Again, had a successful. I, I we think, or I think, it was successful because we ended fifth uh, yes, that year. That's, yeah, that's not too bad. I, playing, st- I think still super 12. Super 12. Yeah, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, super 12. Yeah, super 12. You know, where you you go abroad, you stay there for for four weeks, you come back. Can you play the New Zealand teams? That side play the Australian teams, and yeah, yeah. you come back. You come Australia. back. So, so you know, coming from the previous year where the Bulls didn't fare as, as good as you know what I was expected. Yeah. You know, that was 2002 and I don't know one and 2000. I think we didn't yeah. do too well. We we actually went all the way, not all the way, but did well coming mm-hmm. fifth yeah. in that year. And then later on, 2005. Fast forward to 2005. I. Luckily, you know, lucky enough, um, again. Joe Berg. Joe Berg. Joe Berg. <laughs> so, because so, you were in the era of the clubs, huh? Yeah? I was waiting for that, yeah. Perch, I was waiting for that. You were in the era of the clubs where everyone yeah, used to wear the clubs. Just like the balls as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think you wanted to drop the balls as well. Uh, or you black sexy, you wanted to. Good looking back at it now, thinking, geez, Elias, everything that, that'll help her. <laughs> <laughs> But, Coach, I want to ask you, what, what was up with the clubs in that, in that era? And that's what I want to know. Like, did somebody, like, walk into the change room and pitch this club? Thing. And so we wait, guys. Like, it's gonna, it's gonna increase the the, the catching. The catching is, is it gonna be good? Because that's why like, initially there was like clubs, right? And like there's the clubs, and you can retain the clubs. And I'm going like, what are we trying to prove? Yo, yeah, what, what is it? Because yeah, yeah, because we, because we high school kids doing everything that you guys do yeah. on on Monday yes. and Wednesdays. Now we're thinking, like, should I also get clubs? Like, do I also want to wear soccer player boots? Person in Gregory actually starts in that class. I have a picture of of, of coach doing. Yeah. In the Adidas Predators, the Beckham Oh, oh the David yeah, Beckham oh, and the clubs. <laughs> so now my question is there. Swag. So, so coach, what was it? What was it? Now you see, 
early 2000s, we started with a swag. Yeah. <laughs> That's where it started. That's where it started. That's where it started. <laughs> After you go with trends, I think a lot of boys did it and then you copy. Mm-hmm. And me as a youngster, you copy. You look, look at your defense, that entire under 21 backline. At one stage. Yes. We went to the club. Yes, yes, yes. Like yes, yes, yes. John, 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 Number 10, Andre Pretorius had the clubs. Yes. Andre Pretorius had the clubs. Exactly. Actually, how was it <laughs> from tra- transcending to territory to catch you there? From, tra- from going from the Bulls now to 2005, you're playing for, for the Cats. Very different. Because obviously, if you had the Bulls back then, it was close community. It's only the Bulls. Mm. Was, there were one or two guys. I remember um, Rian van der Berg played for Leopards back then. Mm-hmm. There was two or three guys. From, from outside of from outside the, the, the union. The union itself, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That played for us. But making the transition to come and play for the Cats or signed with the, with the Cheetahs and then Lions. Okay. Um, remember now, we had two... two oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I, I, I remember, I remember. Yeah. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Coach. The Cats were made up of the Lions, Pumas, and I and think... The and the Cheetahs, right? Cheetahs, yeah. Mostly yeah. Lions. Like, yeah, yeah, mostly yeah, Lions and Cheetahs. Cheetahs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the scenario was, remember, so it's the Lions and... Cheetahs, Cheetahs. Mm-hmm. both proud unions. Yes, yes. Yeah. You know, now you have to amalgamate into what? Because then you've got like a, um, you've got a, what do you know? You've got a Juan Smith. Didn't you have a Rassi yeah, at that yeah, time yeah, as well? Yeah, you've got a, 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 a funny thing is, Rassi was actually assistant coach to the now late uh, Chester Williams mm. back then. Uh, the two of Chester them. Coach yeah, Chester, 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 yeah, Chester. Yeah, yeah Chester yeah. and Rassi, and then Jacques was physio back then as well. And then all these guys, I was lucky enough, man, to have played with the likes of Oss and yeah, Naka, right. you know, all those those boys that you looked up to. Now now it's a. Can I correct you? Can I correct you? Not all those boys that looked up to me. You guys told yourself. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, coach. Don't, don't, don't yeah. yourself. But you keep saying you're lucky enough. You were talented enough when, when to be say, in Noah's team. And when you say, we say we're, we're in the presence of illustrious company. We're not talking about the people that are here. Yeah. We're talking about present yeah. company. Yeah. So you need to. I want to know, like, that, that cat's line set up as, as a, as a uh, through and through Sharks fan. I always wonder, like, what is that, what is that camp like when teams come together? Like, is, are the divisions. Visible, mm-hmm. the hot mm-hmm. maps, buttons, mm-hmm. like the provincial allegiances are yeah. they there? And, and, and for you, even more so because you're coming from Bulls and you're not and you're not with the the, the the power shift that's happening in that space. And you're joining that team. Was it difficult? Was it easy to just just get by? Because you guys go on tour for four weeks, like you said, hundred percent. But I think uh, the one thing it was not division as such. You mm-hmm. know, I think it was more a case of you know. You used to be hanging out with the oh, Lions boys. If you're a yes, Lions yes, player, yes, yes. then you're comfortable with, 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 with the boys that you hang out, mm-hmm. you know. But you will, you know, mingle with, with the Cheetah boys as well, you know. Uh, but we had a good squad, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. You know, that year we didn't do well. I think uh-huh. we only... The funny thing is, first game we played against the Bulls and we beat them. Yeah. At the other spot. Mm-hmm. But there was the only... <laughs> only <laughs> only W for us. Are you serious? <laughs> Worst yeah. that team. Start of great. Yeah, start of great and then you know, didn't do too well. But I think the Cats right. went through that for a long time where everyone goes, the collective talent pool is mind boggling. Yeah, I was about they to say. They seem to win. And that's why I asked you the question of so were there divisions that are yeah. just there because you know if you put all these players together on paper, you've got to Yeah, you have to well, we take we, yeah. okay, we take the Cats time. And now, fast forward later on, you sign for 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 the best union around. Uh, well, hold on, no, 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 the Lions. You mean the Lions? Oh, and man. and, and I, you crossed the UK. And he's, he's the best. Okay, yeah. I remember. I remember this time because because you came through Nabokawunda, yeah, and yeah, yeah. and then this is this is when we coming out of and we see you guys coming out of gyms and stuff like that. How is how is that transition from Joburg to I mean from Pretoria to Joburg kind of thing? Again, uh, we know all the I knew all the boys, mm, most yeah. of the boys, you know, yeah. as rugby players, you know who's playing this. Side, true, true, you know. true. So it wasn't a big, the big transition mm. whatsoever, you know. Um, the only thing Joburg is very different. <laughs> like, it's very diverse. <laughs> man. So it's not Pretoria. It's not Pretoria. It's not Pretoria. It's not Pretoria. But I love my time that's on this side as well, mm. Joburg. Um, you know, having played with, with, the, with the Lions boys, the guys that I've played with before, the Yori, Ballard and, and these guys, 
then I played at, at junior level, you That's know, awesome. hooking up with him again now at, at senior level. Yeah. You know. So you play you play there, then you move from the Lions to to yeah. There's a stint, and and yeah, this is me on on, on Google and stuff. Actually, like that. hold on, hold on. Can I? I, I want to get it right. It's called it's called the Western Western, Western, Western Superman. Western, Western Superman. Superman. Superman yeah. It's close to Cardiff. It's not far from yeah, Cardiff. It's close to Wales. Wales. Yes, <laughs> uh, it's close to Wales. So you, how, how long were you there for? Uh, I was there for seven months. Because I saw you wearing it was like they were like a blue blue blue, 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 jersey, blue jersey, right? Yeah. I think it's no, it's blue. I, I remember it's blue. Dude. No, I, 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 I actually know where it is because my brother in law is in England. That's how it's like. Yeah. Where's this place? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How was it there? I enjoyed it. Like a cold? Uh, very cold. <laughs> and then the time I, I win there. Yeah, like, 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 <laughs> I look at the dog there thinking, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, but, but the funny thing about, again, with, with my time in, in the UK, or yeah. in Western Super May, I went there and it was the coldest it has been for oh. 40, 45 or something that years. For that's a big freeze yes, uh, yes, yes, for yes, two yes, weeks. Yes. Yeah. You know, Heathrow, the airport well, was closed. I remember, well. yeah, yeah. yeah. It was very cold. But again, now you see how, how things work out. Sutherland. <laughs> Sutherland. <laughs> Sutherland. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You so, took, so you took the weather there. You took the weather there. You should have been. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I want to ask you something, Coach. How's the, how's the rugby there compared to, to our rugby, like provincial rugby? Because you, you played there. And yeah, the style and whatnot. Is it more forward based or does the backline get to play? How is it there? With, with, with the club that I went to, Western Super Mayor, we yeah. actually had a, quite a. Um, how can I put it now? But we complement each other, backs and forwards. Yeah. Know, but normally it's a, it's a forward orientated mm. game, mm. that side in, in the North, UK, but northern in the northern, in the northern hemisphere yeah. because of obviously the conditions weather. in the weather. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I like my time with, with the club. Mm. You know. Very, you very, 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 very nice people. Very um, good all, people. All yeah. England. Yeah. And the club that I went to. Yeah. The, you know, the spectators, the. The staff, coaches, you know, very welcoming as well. Okay. I enjoyed it. And then unfortunately, the, um, got cut short. I had a big operation, tore my tibia and fibula, and that's when I actually uh, stopped. Yeah. You know, Is that when that's you call a quit on, yeah. as a professional player as to say, listen, yeah. it's my time to coach now? That's, it's my time. I've got a call. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this is, this is, this is going to tie into. So this must have been after the bullet uh, Cavaliers time. Yeah, yeah. The, I remember there was a time where Falcons and and Bullen were playing for Mega Tip Cup, yeah. right? And and he oh, kept in the side as well. You were the leader. You were nah. <laughs> once or twice. Cause no, once but, or like, twice, but, yeah. but like, but like, all I'm saying is that was that the transition? You say you went overseas, and then when you came back, that's when you got a call from 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 Bullen to say. Yes, you were a great player for us. Yeah, no, what, what happened actually, before I got injured, I got a call from Lofi, uh, Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Mm. Just, just finding out, am I still in the UK? He said, yes, um, would, I, would I be interested in coming back home, Poland, Poland's my home yes, province, yes, yes, yeah. you know, um, in, in the coaching fraternity. Yeah. So I said, yeah, I'd look into it, you know, and then obviously, fortunately or unfortunate, uh, the injury happened. Yeah. Yeah. And that it, just made the season easier. Easier for you, yeah. For me to come back, um, president called me, uh, Mr. Davids, Kabali Davids called as well. And then from there, the race is easy. I came back and then joined up with, with the Cavaliers, uh, formed part of their coaching staff for four years. And the transition? Uh, we ask one question every time. Yeah, we do. And you're a coach now. Uh, I wouldn't say it's difficult. You have to, again, there's boundaries. Because yeah. a lot of the boys uh, that I played with were still playing. Okay. You know, but I think there was mutual respect between myself and, and the boys or the players. You know, we, you know, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm a young coach, but I'm coach now. So it's no longer, you know, hey, hey, hey. hey, hey yeah, 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 listen, I, I'm, I'm the, I'm the law um, now. Yeah, yeah, I'm the law type of thing. But my style is, was never, you know, it's, it's about me. It's about, it's never about me. It's about, you know, how, how can we, how can I help in any way, you know, maybe some from past experiences, my playing days, yeah. it's just to help, help the boys and, yeah. And just, and just like your, play, your playing career, coach, um, with your talents on, on the rugby field, 
now that 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 changed into into the coaching field uh you were assistant coach for for how long and you took over the reins captain captain speed is your thing yeah. <laughs> sometimes it happened too fast <laughs> but but like before, I, me, before you answer that i just i just want to understand something like you you, you you touched on it now and you said like well the injury happened the decision was easier but i just want to i just want to understand like was was coaching in your in your long term plan? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Was it something definitely. that you were like, you know what? Okay. When I hang up my boots, eventually I wanna take that direction. No, definitely. I think mm. even whilst I was playing, I was mm. thinking about going the okay. coaching route because just this is something in me, you mm. know that. Yeah, I want I want to to mm. be a coach or wanna help. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. what I think. So, coach, uh, assistant coach at Poland. Oh, thank you. Um, how long? How long? How's how's that for you? <laughs> That's a uh, little shock to you. <laughs> what is it? No, so again, I started in 2012, assistant, uh, doing the backs, also video analyst for, for the team, uh, under Lofi and then uh, AB, coach AB Davis. Yeah. So for what, for three years, I was assistant, and then in 2015, got my chance or got my break, and I became the head coach after, for the Curry Cup season, first division Curry Cup season that year, and then, yeah, that's how it happened. So and this, four years with, with, with the black team. And this is this is a very important question, and I'm probably only asking for myself: is that how important is it to to to, to pay your dues? And you said you paid your dues for three years. I'm still paying it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm still paying it. I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. <laughs> then, <laughs> then being thrown in the deep end, and 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 back then, Curry Cup still was was still. very it's curry cup first division is very competitive it's, yeah, it's, very it's your old it's your old guys still going back there to to plow their trade so all guys that aren't playing at that uh at the bigger unions yeah, that comes back for for game time to, yeah. to the smaller unions you know i remember uh rassi started started it with a couple of boys that didn't play for the cheetahs on the weekend and then yeah, yeah, so it's quite competitive the first mm. division it's not oh. as well, back then, and I think even now, still the days, it's still competitive. So. How important is it as a coach to go through all those structures and stuff? Hey, for me personally, I think it helped me a lot, and it's still helping. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm still learning a lot. Yeah. You know, even if I'm head coach, so I am the head coach, but mm -hmm. I'm still learning a lot from a lot of a lot of coaches. Mm -hmm. School, whether it is a guy that's coaching at school or you know just the the general public out there that has, has an opinion is always something that you can take but you have to i think it's important that you um you have to pay your dues first oh, as sure. well, you know to sure. to actually you know become a rassi or jake or Heineke or, or pdb uh coach pdb sorry oh, no that's no, just pdb or, or head coach of music <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> like, like, like a true cavalier uh, <laughs> the, like the phone call comes again and they say at the bulls Ah, yeah. you the, the, the and you go back home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been like a homecoming. Uh -huh. It's a homecoming. It was a homecoming. It was a homecoming. It was a homecoming. It was a homecoming. Yeah, it felt like a homecoming because obviously I played. Uh, this is not a, I made my name. I, mean, I think mm -hmm. I made my name back at the school boy in the school and you know. But that's where I started off my professional career. And then to come back, to get the call firstly to. You know, for them to ask me to to come up and join join them at at the junior level, hey, you can't ask for for anything else. Okay, you know, a professional setup. Uh, not just at the board, even I think mo all of the unions they do have those uh, those professional setups. You know, but it was just a, something about Victoria. I suppose. <laughs> about home. Oh, no, the coach yeah. said it himself. No, something no, about Victoria. Thank you, coach. Thank you, coach. Yeah, that yeah. was lucky. <laughs> yeah. Lucky, lucky enough to have you know got the got in the call. Yeah, yeah that's the first thing. You're lucky enough to have. Did you expect call. the call? No. no. Funny, funny enough, I did. <laughs> I did not expect any calls because yeah. I was I was still loving it back home. Mm. You know, back in and in, in Bulan. Yeah. You know, working with 
you know, the players that have worked yeah, with yeah. him in Bolat, you know, I loved it. And you know, Bolat, it's one of his lekker places, man. It's yes. like a Western Cape. Beautiful yeah. place. It's a beautiful place. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. One line. It's very beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this is local for this. Yeah. Is <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, I was like, excited, you know. Yeah. So then you came through the ranks. What, what are the teams that, what are the roles and responsibilities that you had there? The different teams. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. So again, with, with the Bulls, I was signed as a junior coach. Mm -hmm. So when you get signed, it's either you with the seniors, signed mm -hmm. as a senior coach, or you get signed to the junior coaches, so the group. Uh, but then I was assistant coach uh, first year with, with, with Coach Yaku, yeah. um, with the under-19s, yeah. following year head coach. And then I joined Coach Nolas again. Uh, Marie, yeah, he came yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I assisted him again because at the end of the day, hey, head coach, assistant coach, is coaching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're a coach nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's about making a difference. So, and then again, obviously, also, whilst you at the Bulls, you are involved with uh, with Tux. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Can I tell a very interesting story there? Please so, do, Raga. So, so, I've, I've, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I've, 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 I've I've known of Kojui. Yeah. Over the years, we, we, we speak about the days that I'd see him at the Lions, Nabo, yeah. put Kaona and stuff. No type of then answer. we get to, so I'm coaching young guns, uh, UJ. Yes, 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 yeah. We go to, to, to Pretoria to go play Pretoria, the Turks. Yeah. yeah, Pretoria to play That's against Turks. And this comes back to, to the type of people that you meet along your life and what your first impressions are of, of, of someone. Mm -hmm. So we get there, long story short, Darren was our lock as well. Yeah. Darren and Lansberg. Yeah, yeah. And can I say one thing? Um, as a coach, we What's didn't get a hundred. What's the map picture? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get a hundred. We got close to a hundred. But so hold but, on, you're, the, you're not no, supposed to win. Like, don't dwell on the points. <laughs> don't dwell. Don't dwell on the points. Yeah. But as a person, uh, he was the only person of the coaching staff to come afterwards and say, "Listen, great game." Yeah. And some kind words to be said there. Yeah. And funny enough that we're going to touch on it as well, that years later, who comes to UJ to, to head up the program? You know? Coach, yeah. that, that's, 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 that's what I see in an, of the person that you get. If a person gives you close to <clears throat> 50 <laughs> points <laughs> and he still comes and he still back comes and, and, and you say sorry. Give that is, yeah. Give What is the score, by the way? It was there, it's there. <laughs> Google it, Google it. So, so coach. Uh, <laughs> Can we move on from the Bulls? So, so coach, I want to ask you, sorry, sorry. Yes. Guys. How many years did you spend at the, at the Bulls? Three. In the, in the junior? Three, uh, three years. So it was 20, 2015? Uh, so I started. 2018. No, 16, but I started 16. The, obviously uh, late 2015 with, with off season. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. You know, so 16, 17, 18. Yeah. And then uh, 19, started off with at the UJ. Ah! Oh. Yeah, get yeah. to that. Oh, I thought we were not going to get to that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You're playing it for the box now. Hey, do we look at the box yesterday? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. After yeah, taking all the tricks, we're just a patina. Are we going to our, sending our, a train? <laughs> <laughs> so UJ, we we very biased over UJ, by the way. Coach, yeah, this is this is UJ family. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm saying that with the greatest respect. Yes, I also went you went to, to UJ, UJ as well. <laughs> but sick, he came to UJ as well. Yeah, 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 one of the see. kids. Um, but um, talking about your, your 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 coaching progression, you you went home and started it. Um, I just want to understand as a son of the soil from from the Western Cape. Um, you know, the SPDA region. Um, how, how do you Brilliant. how do you feel about this this, this thing of the Curry Cup split, the Craven League split oh. with regards to, to the junior teams? Because um, I think unpack it, Lunan. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you context. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give yeah, yeah. you context because unpack it. Yeah, unpack it. Unpack it. Unpack it. Unpack it. Uh, the, the division of, of, of responsibilities in terms of that the kids from Borland, the, the Borland region, represent Western Where's Province. The for rugby only at Craven Week level, but for every other sporting code would represent Poland. Um, so um, your, your your traditional schools that exist in the Poland region, so the past schools, the, the big schools, the ones that are gymnasia, and pop boys, the chemies, yeah. chemies boys, um, mm. and, and, and and the example that I, I saw recently was the, the distance between Kez and Athens. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, where, I saw it. You know, it's like 60 Afi, something kilometers. Afi is, yeah. where Afi is 52 kilometers away from Kent. If Afi is, could represent the lions, you take, you take, you take Afi, you take Monas, you take Kids, you take um, the lions, would have like, you yeah. put them into one, Jimmy. right? Is that, <laughs> take Jimmy, is, that, is, that, is that an advantage to the Gauteng region? And, and in the inverse, does that help or? make it harder for the kids in the bullet region to, to get to the next level if they can only exist at one of the big schools and play for western province and get the attention or you 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 went that path and you represent bullet and still got to the, the highest level of our professional rugby for somebody that started playing rugby as for, for fun does it work does it not work I think, uh, firstly, I'm going to go 50-50. Like okay. Mendoza, yeah. 50 <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. yeah. um, The one thing that I could, I could never understand, you know, um, Bolan Lanba is mm. literally in Wellington. Mm. That formed, in, in rugby terms, Wellington is, is uh, the hub of Bolan rugby, yeah. the capital. Yeah. Same as... That's where the Cavaliers play. Yeah, the Cavaliers play, Bolan play. So I never understood. Canon understood why Paul Jim, Paul Boisai, uh, like Lewis. I said, Napoli Lewis is, oh, is more talented. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how, how they managed to play province and not Poland. But in hindsight, or, you know, may, maybe it's, it's good that they do play that side. Mm-hmm. That gives opportunity for the, the, the boys from the Platteland, mm-hmm. Afrikaans. Mm-hmm. Really Platteland, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's like a CBD. Like I said, I'm, I'm a 50-50. I, I can't understand because mm-hmm. those boys play cricket or they would represent every other sport for Bola. For Bola. Yeah, 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 except yeah. for rugby, mm-hmm. athletics, all those things. But again, that, that's... Um, I don't have the answers. Yeah, it's confusing, <laughs> right? it is confusing. Mm. I mean, for me, it was confusing when when mm. I came through. You know, the ranks of playing, but again, it goes it goes well, back. Yeah, yeah. yeah long, long, long before. Yeah. yeah, because I mean, the exception was all right. Two thousand and one. Two thousand and one was the exception. Yeah, that year that's we Scott, 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 Scott Berger made it. Yeah. 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 That's, the, that's the mortal Indeed. enemy of Lantbow. Um What is it? Is it Barlow? Yeah. It's Marlo. No, 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 no. Okay. It's with the Obda. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's like, that's had before. Yeah. That's had yeah. before. Yeah. When it so, comes to Borland rugby. And then it's like, there's a good player there. And nobody makes the right. So yeah. Like one guy makes it. It's interesting. Yeah, very, very, very interesting. But coach, I'm, 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 I'm biased. Let's get to... To you, crack. Jay. I said, please, man. Yeah, you know. And so, you, you, you get a call. Yeah, to, you to, gotta call again. Yeah. Again, 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 like, again. I'm, I'm, just seeing, I'm just seeing a trend. If, if Kajui is not in Boerland, he gets a call from Pretoria. Pretoria, Joe. Joe. I wish I, I, wish I got a call. <laughs> Everybody has your number. Yeah. Yeah. We, we should also get your number. Yeah, but I saw the air. <laughs> oh, right. Of, of the, the, you know, the, the unit yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to do the whole process. I had to fly. You know, the year before coach was, I think, Scully, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sco- okay. Coach Scully was. Scully, yeah. Scully, 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 yeah. Mm. Good, good guy. Never, never had to, the privilege to work with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or coach against I've him. Heard of yeah, him. Yeah, I've heard of him. I've heard of him. And obviously, he had, had some success with with, uh, mm-hmm. with UJ as well. Mm. So, coach, you take over UJ 2018, if I'm not mistaken. 19. 19. 19. Yeah. Before, before the explanations, I said, watch which do all coaches go by nicknames or am I missing something? Why? <laughs> oh, Coach Kulis. Ah, I'm going to sit. Coach Kulis. Does anyone use that? I, I, I have an answer for you, Lona. Become a coach and you'll find out. Anyway. I don't have the motto patience. For two coaches. You know, with, I, I, respect the, I respect the art and I just know that I will not. I can't. I'm too much. That's an art. So, so Coach, how? how, how? Tell us about that journey. The I don't tra- want to use transition. transition. <laughs> <laughs> tell us, tell us about the journey. Tell about can the journey. I can I give background before for, for before Coach um, answers this question? So 2019 comes in, when, and when literally, yeah, and literally, <laughs> Coach has got a couple of weeks to get the boys ready. Never mind, get the boys to jump into first varsity cups. Serious? It's 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 it's. it's 
I think the appointment was 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 in January or or late December. Late, late December, yeah. but we, we, we play Varsity Cup, Cup end of Jan. And Varsity Cup used to start start in Jan. Yeah, end of Jan, yeah. early Feb. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then then how is don't say trust. one one UJ is a it's 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 way different from Joburg. I mean from from Victoria, <laughs> from, Victoria, from, yeah. from Turks. And how how did you find that? Yeah, luck, luckily, because uh, I had you, I had Coach Jacob, Coach <laughs> uh, Bear, Pafana was, was still there helping, you know. So we had, I had all you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I had all you guys that, that were obviously running the show whilst, you know, I was still at the Bulls or still that side before the appointment was made or the announcement was made. And you guys had a lot to do with, with, with that. And uh, But the transition from... Jeez. Oh. Jeez, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We just put it in. It, it, it's different. It, it's, I mean, we all know um, Turks or the Bulls or Pretoria is mm. a very uh, Af- Afrikaans dominated. Afrikaans uh, dominated. Yeah, yeah, dominate, yeah. You know, um, whereas with uh, with Joburg, you know, there's a lot of. There's a lot of diversity. <laughs> <laughs> you said it putting it, putting it, putting it, like you said it, putting it, yeah, yeah. Putting it, like you know, diversity. But I loved it. I loved every every minute of it, because like, um, uh, when I got here, obviously it was a bit late. You know, I'm not making excuses for for that first year, especially. But I think you know we we did well. We didn't get the results that we Did were that wanted. we wanted. Yeah. You know, but throughout that year, we we actually played some good that I'd be. A um, couple of results that could have gone either way. We're 50, 50, a yeah. different, different story. But um, yeah, diversity is something to behold in, in Joburg. Can you, you, tell, us, can you tell us? Can you tell us a very interesting story? I know you've got yeah. many. <laughs> <laughs> tell us about two to, choose, <laughs> to, to choose from. But what, what, what hit you? What and then and, and, and coach can take. Coach can take his time. Uh, <laughs> but what, what hit you is very. Interesting. Or what story can you tell with us, or can you share with us that like when you got to UJ, something, you, you leading me. Yeah, he's leading me. No, because I was there. I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always. I was, I was he like, wants to tell it, but he wants you to tell it. Because there's there's been it's a lot, man. Uh, and I don't know where to start. Okay, right. Which which okay, story okay, do you okay. want the coach let, to tell? Okay, let me let me rephrase it. Let me rephrase it. Let me rephrase it. Tell us about um, it. Once upon a time, <laughs> difficulties or challenges. Then at the same time. And this should be easier for coach. What have you loved? And I think that this is your motto about your coaching career as well. What have you loved about coaching at UJ and your journey in coaching in general? I think first things first, because uh, uh, the one thing that stood out for me when, when I got to job or got to UJ is uh, I was used to UJ being very much, not very much dominated with uh, white players, but you know, I think we were in the minority at what one stage mm-hmm. where the, the what was the correct uh, English word now? That, yeah, diversity, but the uh, demographic, demographic, yeah. demographic, yeah. demographic has changed a bit. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think uh, to be quite honest, we you know people would rather prefer to go to Bits. you know our neighbours mm-hmm. just across the road to Bits mm-hmm. than then come to to UJ, um, and also uh, the one thing that I do love about, about about the UJ culture or set that we are the setup. Mm. I think we are quite a a family. Even if yeah. we're not like, you know, we haven't achieved the results in the last couple of years. But uh, there's something there. Mm. You know, that that there's something growing. Mm. There's something that that'll definitely with, with years to come or in a year or two or three, yeah. you'll definitely see a different UJ. Mm. Because yeah. coach, you sorry, that, 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 that I'll see your question. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I wanted, I wanted, I wanted the interesting story. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> coach, you know, you, you touched on something. You said it's something brewing. Yeah. We watch the games, and we say there's something brewing. 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 Sorry. The English. Yeah, we know. The English. Yeah. 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 There's something yeah. brewing there. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it will probably take a year or, or two for for you guys? Because what I see is a whole lot of talented players who just need to get those results, if you get what I'm saying, yeah. coach. 
Yeah, definitely. I think the one thing also, we, we keep on losing players, senior oh, players. Okay. You know, so, you know, you, you, look at, you look at the box and one thing with Rassi, I mean, we'll touch on it just now, but the yesterday's game, I suppose. But you look at how Rassi and him, <laughs> Rassi and Jao goes about, about things. It's, it's about, yeah, it's about con- continuity. So if you True. keep on losing plays and key positions and and then another youngster needs to step up, you know, it's bound to take time, you know, which unfortunately time is not in our, on our hands yeah, yeah. because uh, we are in a high performance environment. True. You know, people look at winning and losing. Results. Like, True. <laughs> it's, results. it's either W or an L. Or an L, you know, so. But there is something, you know, like I said, you know, if we can keep the boys together for at least another two years. Yeah. The results, I think, will come. I was looking for interesting stories like this. Uh, so, so because you had has had so many challenges in terms of yes, you, you got a fitness test in the, in the morning or eight o'clock, and someone calls you on the cell and yes, yeah, I can't okay. make it. I don't have I don't have taxi money. Cool. Or you pitch up and you you make a kid run and he's ass off. And he, yes, he doesn't hit his BP and yes, I haven't had a meal in the morning. Do you, do, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's, a that's a big that's challenge. That's a big challenge. That's a big challenge. That's a big And that's and and literally what I wanted to ask. And, so you, and, you, and you said it very well when you said the, 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 the challenge in, in this environment is, is obviously the retention of players and versus the, the results that I expected. And I wanted to ask you, like, is, is it difficult to, to, to have to to manage that dynamic in terms of trying to appease the people that want results and also making them aware of, of the shortcomings of the system, yeah. for want of a better phrase, in terms of what they expect and the reality of, of what's going on. And, and that's what I want, that's to, what I want to talk about, yeah. to say, listen, you, you want me to win 10 games a year, right? Okay, cool. Do you understand that I'm trying to do this, this and that? from a day-to-day player manager management yeah, perspective yeah. and then still not lose players. And then I'm speaking about like depth of talent here because it's easy for a Springbok coach because he has a thousand players to look at. You've only got your team. And if a guy leaves, you can, all you can do is recruit. Yeah. Right? And, and then even that recruitment isn't guaranteed. So, so how do you manage those type of, of I don't call them boardroom conversations where, where people just don't want to understand your day-to-day frustration and see the bigger and, picture and, 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 and want what they want because, yeah. you're, because you're saying because you sell the bigger picture and go I can get you the 10 wins but I need these are the things these are the hindrances that we yeah. face on a day-to-day yeah. basis and that's the thing like, oh, and that's the question I need, you, I need you to do a beat test I have need to do yeah it's like yo okay <laughs> and then it comes back to that, that demographic yeah okay that has changed yeah. from mm-hmm. You know, us being the minority, but us being now the majority, the majority mm-hmm. you know, and coming from most of our boys uh, do come from, um, what do you say, un- underprivileged Dis- backgrounds. Disadvantages. Dis- 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 disadvantages. Dis- disadvantages. Um, yeah. background. So it's tough, you know, and to convince people, because, yeah, hey, remember, UJ is, we're talking about UJ, we're talking mm-hmm. about Rao and then UJ. Yeah, so yeah. everybody's still expecting you to perform. To perform, to perform. To perform. What's yeah. happening at UJ? Mm. But they, nobody knows the challenges. You know, uh, if you're not there, if you don't know the challenges. Then True. It's tough. I mean, it is tough. It's, 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 I mean, Jomo, um, our, our rugby manager, he goes out of his way to to make people aware of, of that. You know, because yeah. for me, I don't want to make people aware of that because that that, that, that that will look like, hey, I'm only I'm not making excuses. You're making excuses. You know? yeah. Um, so, like I said, the guy like Jomo, our manager at the, the, at the rugby club, um, he tries. He, he really tries. And uh, all of our coaches, or everybody that's involved with, with user rugby, tries you know, to, to create or help out the way we can. Mm. And if that answers your question. No, it does. No, it does. And, and even, even, even uh, could you, just to university rugby and the, and the joy of varsity rugby these days is the academic part. And uh, you don't want to say anything in terms of UJ is, is a merger of so many different institutions that have come into one. Yeah. But the, the biggest thing has been always one thing. Sports. Rugby. Rugby. 
No, it's a pathetic thing. Oh, right. So, yeah, you forgot about it. So, you forgot about it. So, so we have to make it in top, top five. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Top five in, in Africa. Mm. Very true. Yeah. User is top mm. five in the world. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Mm. So, 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 so. So and 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 that's a that's a question that I I wanted to pose and oh okay let so just like, <laughs> yeah, 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 like, <laughs> no, I'm trying I'm trying I'm trying to get a super sport <laughs> a super sport <laughs> let me do a thing mm. does 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 maintaining the status quo of, of of what the varsity is about hinder your recruitment because you're trying to get right right yeah we we try to get like two players but, but you also like you need um, academics what, what 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 do they call them in the scholar place? scholar students students, students, students athletes. Yes, oh. yes so you're not just recruiting physical attributes yeah you're also recruiting intellectual IQ yeah. and, and, and intelligence and, and, and scholastic ability yeah does that make it hard for you to to go out and, and get the players you want it does it does i won't, won't lie to you it does and it plays a hell of a role you mm. know um because again uh, user is a contempt, uh, yeah, academic yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. You know, first and foremost we, first and foremost yes. and we are big on on uh, your marks and, and those things so it, it makes it hard to get guys into courses because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. because you have to balance the academics with the sport with the sport it? yeah and again so if you are we talking student athlete here or are we talking professional you know and then most of the boys that you i mean We've got goes out. He goes out a lot, actually, and then and do recruitment. Mm. But are you gonna get? You want the rugby player, or do you, you want, want the boy that is oh. actually? You want the strong bookmark. Yeah, that can play rugby. Mm. You know, but you want you or the rugby club or what, whichever department, mm. whether it's soccer, rugby, cricket, you're gonna get judged on results. Results. Yeah. You the coach. Yeah. So, so, so and, it's, it's, it's tough. Before you touch it, coach. I, you, we, we we support you 100 by the way uh we watched uh Raga, ragas action changes on tv by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know <laughs> he changes so much oh, Raga, hey, too many you're on fight you're on fight <laughs> team you can't be streaming uh, <laughs> you. but anyway coach i, I want to ask you yesterday's game i want to i want to actually get it into the box let's do it let's let's, let's, let's talk let's about yesterday's game uh for me first off brilliant Second half, boom. There's a lot of, lot of positive that Rasi can take out of it. <laughs> oh, Rasi, sorry. Uh, uh, no, 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 you know, three or four other boys that, that played yesterday or started, mm. uh, didn't train for what, at least 10, 10 days or 14 True. days. True. But in the second half, I just felt, uh, you know, we were, one, I wouldn't say, I played, I smarted and out of the game. I, 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 yes, I mean, if you, if you read the comments yesterday and um, in the newspaper this morning, you know, we got, our South Africa got outsmarted with their own game plan, mm. you know. But question still, you know, my question would be, um, is it fitness? Oh. Why is it fitness? If, if it's fitness, or did we get outsmarted? Because remember now the boys didn't train for, so there were stops and starts mm. with, with the preparation. True. Yeah. Whereas with, uh, yeah, you know, again, so the test is not, not, not taking place and, you know, the whole team having gone into isolation and all those type of things again. So, yeah. So coach, would you say we have a plan B? <laughs> I'd, I'd love to believe that. <laughs> I think we do. I think we, we any any team or any you know, I think any team that needs to have a plan B. I mean if, if you look at soccer, let us take football for example, yeah. I mean they, they'll start to off with us playing in a certain way and then if, if things go they'll, they'll change it. Yeah. So I think obviously Jack and, and, and the guys that are seeing and and or sticks and them they, they probably have a plan B. Um but yeah, yesterday I think the plan B, we didn't see it because I think we didn't have the ball. Mm-hmm. And then the, the second half. Yeah, I mean, we we're stopped at the ball, yeah. We stopped the ball, we... You have to catch the ball first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let, 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 let's see what 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 what, um, what plan B looks like if, we, if there's a need for a plan B this coming week. Because maybe plan A could work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Coach, you've had time. Funny story that you've had in... Uh, 
in the university in university environment in terms of the UJ environment. Hey. I can help coach. Please, 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 please help me. So the most brilliant thing about, uh, as coach put it, uh, about having a highly diversified um, crop of players is that what happens in Joburg? Joburg is the mecca of everything. Cosmopolitan, yeah. So when boys get here, they see the lights. They see the lights. They see the lights. So you watch our show. Show the city lights. So the one time we get a player, and I'm not going to mention names, and he's a youngster, he makes first team, and there's a schedule that gets sent out, uh, sent out on, on a weekend, you know, and doesn't make the, the Monday training session. So coaches at every gym session, because himself and Coach Zala, Blue balls. So, so yeah. therefore, the lighty doesn't make the training session, and then and coach can tell you so many of these stories that lighty doesn't make it to training sessions, and coach says yes, but he lives right here. Yeah. 